feel a little bit like I've lost the opportunity to finish my book, but I know that's not true. So I'm planning to break into three tomorrow. <laughs> Not today, because I'm so tired. It's gonna be so much fun to write. I wish I had time today. Mom life. <laughs> In this vlog, I really, really, really hope that I can finish this first draft. I'm super close. I think there's like, gosh, maybe 10,000 words or less to go. Here's my word tracker and time tracker so far. So I've written 16 days for a total of 18,000 words, a little over, and over 16 hours, going on 17 hours now. So if I were to stay on track, because I am nerdy, don't mind me, I like to kind of project what it's gonna look like. If I were to stay on track, then I might finish with like roughly eight more writing days, supposedly, I don't know, I don't know. But it's March 19th, like I said, so I have time. I could finish this book at the end of this month. I don't know if I can, but I could. But I don't know if I can, you know what I'm saying? If you watched the last vlogs, I'll link them below if you missed them, but it's been a little rough lately. I have just realized that writing at night's not for me right now. <laughs> it actually has started to give me insomnia, so get this, Zion slept 10 and a half hours last night. 10 and a half hours. I was like mind blown right now, but I am the idiot who was awake checking on him. By the end of that, the last two hours, like every 20 seconds, it's only a slight exaggeration. And I was just like, is he okay? Is he okay? What's going on? He did a nine hour night once before and he's done a few eight hours, but 10 and a half hours in a row. I was genuinely worried. So I didn't sleep hardly at all. <laughs> I'm gonna try to fix that. Hopefully by the end of this vlog, we will have figured that out together because I don't know what's going on. Um, I just need to have some more peace. I need to start praying about it. And then I want to write in the mornings instead of at night. That way I know I got enough sleep because that was really working for me. <laughs> and I've been procrastinating, but. I don't have any more excuses because this is the video that I just put up, but I have also uploaded the next vlog. It's ready to go. You can see it's unlisted. I also have this video up in the queue unlisted, and I just finished editing my, I don't know what to call this yet. This might change slightly for the title, but Author Money Tips is actually uploading right now. So I have three videos in the queue, plus the seventh vlog where I did my night writing attempt, which I haven't edited yet, but that'll be up before this video is up, obviously. So I have no excuses anymore. I'm way ahead on videos. And can I just say, as a side note, I was really not expecting this for mom life. I was so, so, so stressed about never gonna Get work done anymore. I'm never going to do anything anymore. And it's like the opposite. Like I have such a high efficiency rate now. <laughs> when I have two minutes to spare, I get about 3000 things done, <laughs> you know, not quite, but close. And so I'm over here like, what's going on? I think I think I'm working a little too hard because I keep wanting to cram everything I possibly can into every spare tiny second. So I am getting a little burned out. I think I need to slow down. But like I said, I have so many videos ready to go that I can take a break in making videos and just focus on writing this week or next week. So what I'm gonna do tomorrow, Sunday, I'm going to take tomorrow off to again, get a little bit of recovery from burnout because I'm pushing too hard. I would love to read a book and just hang out and not be stressed, probably see family. It's gonna be a busy day anyway. And then on Monday morning, I wanna kick it off and start writing and keep going each morning until I finish this book. So I just, I hope that the sleep will work out. I hope Zion will cooperate. Last time I tried to do this, he was like, ha, ah, just kidding, I'm not sleeping anymore. But he is an amazing sleeper for the most part, so I have faith. So I'll see you on Monday. Hi, I did not write this morning. Um, long story short, Zion is sleeping amazing. I cannot say enough good things about this book because, oh my gosh, she slept nine and a half hours last night. And the two nights before that were both 10 and a half hours. And then it was like another nine and another eight in a row. So it's like amazing, right? But my body is still prepped for waking up in the middle of the night. So I'm waking up like every hour on the hour. And 
like, what's wrong with me? Like I literally am sleeping worse than ever and he's sleeping better than ever. And it's not supposed to be this way. I'm supposed to be able to also sleep really well. Even for his naps, he's getting so good that he's going to sleep within a few minutes and no crying, no fussing. He just naturally puts himself to sleep. So he's learning how to self-soothe and all this good stuff. Meanwhile, I am over here exhausted. So I did not wake up early to write. I was like, you know what? This is a vlog about writing whenever I can, whenever it works. So I will try to write later today. So I did earlier, I had him down for a nap. I was getting ready to write, but there was a few housekeeping things I had to do. I had to go on YouTube and answer some comments. I had a video that just released today. So I had to, you know, I wanted to answer the comments and chat with you guys. And then I had to send the Amazon gift card winner information to the winner. And yeah, just a few little things like that. Call and make Zion a doctor's appointment. So by the time I got through with those little things, he woke up, which is fine. That means that he'll have a longer nap later. And that's when I'm trying to write again. But right now, he's playing with his toys. You can probably hear him. And I'm just going to do a few more housekeeping things and hang out with him. The good news is, according to this book, you have a 90 minute awake window at this age. So it's really at this point, just a little bit longer till I put him back into his crib for another nap. And then that's when I'll try again. <laughs> so, <sighs> yeah, mom life. <laughs> over here to talk to you guys. Just put him down for a nap. Here's hoping he'll fall asleep as fast as he did this morning. Got like laundry to fold, people that I'm supposed to call for his like doctor's appointment. I think I did that one this morning, but I need to call back because they didn't answer and I left a message. Come on, baby, you got this, you got this. Anyway, um, <laughs> there's so much to do, but I am going to ignore it all and come right. So first I'm gonna make green tea because I've been hearing that this is actually really good for balancing hormones. And as you guys know, still trying to figure that out. Still trying to work through, learn, you know, as much as I possibly can. I feel like I am just brushing the surface, honestly, of the hormone stuff. Like I, I know that there's more to learn, but I will say for those of you who are wondering, so far the last two weeks I've lost two more pounds-ish. It fluctuates still, but that's much more normal to lose a pound a week. That's much more healthy. So here's hoping I can keep it up. I got a long ways to go, but I am going for walks. That's another Another thing that I've been kind of learning, I can't remember if I shared it in a vlog or not, but I feel like for women, walking can actually be super beneficial because it doesn't trigger cortisol, which is like, I think called, I think called the stress hormone or something like that. Anyway, it doesn't trigger that, which that hormone, I think it's a hormone, yeah, can cause you to actually hold on to weight. So by doing really intense workouts for like an hour or something like that, we can actually end up causing ourselves to hold on to more weight versus just walking can cause us to lose weight because you're getting that beneficial exercise without going into like a stress mode for your body. All that to say, I, as soon as I heard that, I was like, that makes so much sense. I used to work this job in the hospital where I would walk for eight hours and I never was more fit in my entire life and I did nothing else and I ate terribly. So I think the tea is almost done. I'm going to go put it together. Hopefully it tastes good. I'm not a tea person, but I want to become one. <laughs> and uh, and then I'm just going to force myself to get started writing because we got a lot to do and I don't know if we have that much time. But good news, he just fell asleep. So I think it's time. Let's go. It is, what time is it buddy? 2.23 and I started at 1.50. 
So only like 30 minutes because I did so many other things. I wasted time again. And this was a shorter nap, maybe like an hour. You're so cute. So now we're waking up, right? And mama has to check how much I wrote, but I don't think it's much. I wonder if I can do this with you here. I wrote 296 words. <laughs> so not very much. I was super distracted. I'm not gonna lie. I guess it's been a few days since I wrote. Let me check. Oh, really? Really? <laughs> you like those flowers? You like that? It's been like a whole week. I guess I had no idea. Well, what did I just do? I just deleted everything I wrote. <laughs> Control Z. Let's not do that again. <laughs> you wanna go play? I wish I could say that uh, I was gonna write during his next nap, but I just wanna read so bad and I just, I have so many other things to get done, so I'm gonna call it good. 296 words is progress and uh, you are squirmy. I guess we're gonna be over here looking at the flowers on the wall for a bit. That's very exciting. Wow. Okay, let's go. Okay, Zion just went down for a nap. He's right across the hall, so I gotta stay quiet, sorry. Wednesday, March 23rd. I haven't done a thing since I talked to you guys last. It's been, oh, I was joking last time that I was in the dark night of the soul for the story beats. If you've ever read this, you know what I'm talking about. And then the next story beat is the all is lost moment. So maybe I shouldn't be surprised. <laughs> that I feel like, I don't really feel like all is lost, but I kind of do, I kind of feel like. This week, um, Monday, Mosin officially went back to work. Like he, he's never like stopped working completely. He's been working in the winter, but he was able to be home a lot more and do a lot of his work from home versus now. He's starting to leave the house. It's not even that early yet. He's leaving like 10 or 11 and he's coming home around five or six, but it's going to keep expanding as the weather gets warm to the point where it will soon be like 7 a.m. or earlier until 7 p.m. or later. And I know this, I'm used to this as a non-mom, but as a mom who honestly needs a lot of me time, <laughs> Just being real with you guys. I am Stressing about it again. It's not a real all is lost because I love being a mom I love my son, but I feel like I thought I could actually keep writing books at a very similar pace But at this rate when I'm by myself all day um, And it's going to be literally all day pretty soon and he's not really napping during the day He's sleeping great at night. He slept like 12 hours last night with one tiny feeding in the middle But during the day he is not always sleeping being like it's a half hour here 40 minutes there and then there'll be like one golden two hour nap and then it's like ah, just kidding back to 30 minutes i don't feel a real all is lost but i feel a little bit like i've lost the opportunity to finish my book but i know that's not true so i'm planning to break into three tomorrow <laughs> Not today, because I'm so tired. So the last couple days, I let myself read a book. So this is book three. Last night, I finished it around 11.30. And then something else that I've been doing to feel more, I guess, in control is when Zion is awake. I've been hanging out with him in this room. I'll have his, like, play mat on the floor in my office. And I'll, he likes to kind of, like, watch me work. So, like, I feel guilty if I'm just sitting and typing at a computer. Plus, I can't focus because I got to help him a lot. But I can do more, like what would you call this? Like really thoughtless work, I guess. So I've been cleaning my closet. I've got all my shipping materials up here that I've been saving boxes from Amazon and like the grocery bags that Amazon uses because pretty soon I want to use my time, if <laughs> the little time that I have, maybe when I finish writing this first draft and I want to do another signed copy sale. So I'm thinking of doing something fun and exciting there and putting those up on my website soon. Anyway, I cleaned out some of these binders these three binders all had like tons and tons of story information that I recycled. This is like one massive stack in this size box. And then we've got a diaper box literally full all the way to the top with just like random notes from different books, from beta processes, you know, story outlines. So literally, what is that? That's like, I don't know, like five reams of paper right there. I have most and keep his clothes in here. Got my light boxes in here. And then I just have a couple boxes left to go through that is like miscellaneous junk. And then I will have officially 
really cleaned this out. So anyway, it feels really, really good to have that in control. I think when Zion is awake, I'm going to do that again because it sort of, it entertains him. And so <laughs> that way I can feel like being a good mom, showing him what cleaning looks like and getting something done, even if it's not my story. And then I'm getting better at sleeping, you guys, but I still think something's going on. I think that maybe I do have something hormonal, like something's off. I want to, if I can, I would love to do some sort of like test to figure it out. So I want to look into that because I feel like, I don't know if I have really high cortisol levels or something, or my mom has um, a thyroid issue. So maybe I am developing that since it's genetic. I don't know what's going on, but I just feel off. I feel like at this point I am actually getting enough sleep, but I'm waking up a lot and I'm waking up tired after getting enough sleep. So I wish this vlog was about more writing. I'm totally vlogging with my Curology patch on my face too. Don't mind me. If you know what that is, then you'll laugh. Anyway, all that to say, I could write today because he is sleeping really well at the moment, but I just, I'm burnt out. I think another issue is the story isn't going as well as it was because I think I am, I'm not going to say it's a roadblock. I'm not hitting a roadblock exactly, but I'm hitting more of a gap area <laughs> where I'm like, do I really know what the character wants? Am I really including all of the information that the reader is going to want to see? Am I bringing this character in enough? Am I bringing this character in enough? Am I doing enough of their motivation and making it plausible, blah, blah, blah. Stuff that technically you can worry about during editing. Long story short, I think I need to take a day to just brainstorm and have the pressure off and then come back to it tomorrow. So wish me luck. Hopefully, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow with some progress. Wow. Oh, yeah. Really? He's got a lot to say. I've got Zion with me here. We're hanging out in my office while I clean out the closet. Let me show you. I've got absolute chaos on the floor. Oh. Oh, yeah, you're the cutest. It's almost time for nap time. <laughs> okay. Oh, um, okay. Give me one second. I gotta tell them how it went today. <coughs> really? I don't even know what I was gonna say. Uh, today is... Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be a loud video. It is Thursday, March 24th, and... <laughs> <laughs> You're hilarious. I love you so much. Oh my gosh. He's helping me vlog today, obviously. I'm just gonna keep going. So this morning, I am super happy because I decided to bring my computer into my room last night, like back when I did morning writing. And okay, let me back up. He slept 12 hours. 12 hours. Like, well, technically 15 minutes short. He slept from 7.30 p.m. to 7.15 a.m. I slept great. Like, not amazing, but when you get like a 12-hour stretch, it was so nice. And so I decided to bring my computer into my room last night so that I could do a little bit of morning writing before I like came out of the room for the day and got on mom duty, I guess you could say. And so that little bit of me time, it was only like an hour and a half, but it felt so good. And it just total opposite of writing at night. I felt amazing. So I wrote from 7.15 a.m. when he was up and I made sure he was alive because I was a little bit anxious again to 8.15, so one hour of writing, and I wrote 1,039 words. Yeah, that's amazing, I know. And it crossed 19,000 in the novel as a whole. So I don't know, I'm thinking maybe another 5K, maybe another 10K. It's always hard to know because sometimes I'll write a super rough ending if I don't really know exactly what's gonna go on. But other times I feel like the ending is what I know the best. And so that's the most fleshed out part. So it's hard to predict just yet, but I actually ended up thinking of something that would help make the bad guys close in section a little bit stronger so I went back to the beginning I don't usually let myself do that but when I really get excited about something I'm like okay I'll let myself go back so I went back to the beginning I added in something actually in like the first second or third page and it just made it more exciting later on and I know I'll have to go back through and kind of weave it together better you trying to talk to me <laughs> yeah 
Hi. Um, I love you too. Yeah. I love you too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I gotta I gotta just finish this out and then we'll go take a nap and have some food food. <gasps> yeah, your favorite. So okay, what was I even saying? I have like the curology patches on because I've been breaking out lately and I know why. It's because I've had some sugar. After our 21 day reset, we let ourselves have a couple days with sugar and I immediately saw it on my face. So I'm trying to be healthy again. And honestly, yeah, I honestly I still have the cravings so bad sometimes, but I'm feeling so so much better, which is really encouraging yeah, yeah and then the other thing that really helps me last night was I was reading about like again the hormones kind of trying to research that's just gonna be my project for a long time I think cortisol is, uh -huh, is a stress hormone that how do I describe it I'm just learning about it. From what I gather, it's it sounds like something might be elevated in me where I get like this extra adrenaline at night and that keeps me from sleeping. <laughs> so I think that I need to, every time I try to talk, he talks. So basically I tried exercising before bed last night, which is something I normally wouldn't do because I think it would wake me up, but I felt like it actually helped relax me because it got out some of that adrenaline or possibly cortisol. <laughs> If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I have no idea. I don't know. So let's go put you to sleep and then I will deal with this mess behind me. Yeah. Sounds good. Oh my goodness. Who's the cutest boy ever? You are the cutest boy ever. What do you think? Are you hungry? Yeah? You hungry? So anyway, I'm just rambling now, but I wanted to report it was an awesome writing day. Very excited for the progress. And you have my hair. Ha! Ah! Wow, it's gross outside. Um, I just finished a writing session. I was sitting in my cozy chair here and uh, gosh, how much should I write? Let's check. Can you hear this? Hold on. I wrote for about 45 minutes and I wrote 637 words. And honestly, like I was gonna keep going and I'm like, yeah, I'm already burnt out. I don't think pushing myself when I'm this exhausted is a smart move for my creativity to continue to work for me. Like if I push too hard, it's gonna be bad. So I was like, it's good. We'll just be done for the day. We'll just do smaller amounts. It's fine. Only like 20 words before we hit 20 thousand words. We're at exactly 19,983 words. I'll just summarize by saying like it's not going badly but it's not going amazing either and I'm tempted to just actually take a couple days off and see if that would help but at the same time I want to finish the first draft and then take a break and recover because I don't want to lose momentum and forget what the story is about because I've got baby brain on top of the fact that I'm spacing it out so I just I don't want to forget what I've written. That can make editing a lot harder. Not sure what he's talking about, but uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just tired. So I guess I'll stop repeating myself and hopefully the next session will go better. It is Saturday, March 26th today, and it's almost noon, which means uh, Zion and my husband have been gone for two hours now, and I haven't written a thing. <laughs> I have so many excuses, okay? <laughs> so I desperately needed a shower. My hair was so greasy. The house needed cleaning. There was laundry to get done. I was also planning a signed book sale for these bad boys right here, and I think it's gonna be April 11th through 16th. So coming up pretty quick here. I'm very excited. And then I got sidetracked because I was trying to answer comments on Instagram and on YouTube and Instagram surprised me. There was a lot of comments on there that I was really behind on. But then also on YouTube, the last video that I just did, I'll be a good YouTuber and show you right here is the trad pub is not for me. It's taken off. It's my top video out of the last 10 and it's 4,600 something views right now. But then also if I go to analytics. This is really fun. You can see like on the graph there just how far it's taken off above my normal videos over here. 296 comments. And so I was trying to keep up with them, but I'm like, you know what? I just, I can't. I think I have to start making a rule again for my mental health, but also just for me to get stuff done that I can only answer comments the first day a video is out and then I need to refrain because otherwise I could spend all day doing that. Like I literally sat down. I was like, I'll just wait a few minutes for my hair to air dry a little bit and then like an hour later I'm like oh I gotta go dry my hair how long have I been doing this it's just you don't even realize it so I am so bummed I just used up a ton of time where I could have been writing and honestly it's not the best thing to do right before you want to be creative is be in that headspace
So I don't know why I did that. <laughs> but anyway, I've got my document pulled up here for everybody who's asking like, what is this program you write in? I did explain in the very first video in this vlog, but I've gotten a lot of questions about it. So it's just Microsoft Word and I just zoom out and I use some of the features. I'll share this video in the comments below if you wanna know more about how I like to use the features. But here's the thing. I am a little bit anxious about writing in general because I feel like I was laughing about being in my own dark night of the soul. And then I realized that I'm pretty much getting to that beat in the actual story I'm about to write The Dark Knight of the Soul and to have it really be dark and awful, you gotta show why it matters to the character. And I feel like I just need to do some more work on the inner reasonings, I guess. I don't have the right word at this moment, but I need to figure out what truly matters most to my character so that the choices that she makes will feel genuine and realistic. And uh, I don't know if you can see it, but the next beat that I put here was post midpoint bad guys. And then I had like bullet points for what I think will happen. And as I was reading through it, I was like, you know what? I think that's actually the dark night of the soul, but I need to get her there. I need a little bit more of the bad guys closing in beat. I hope this is making sense. If you've read Save the Cat, you'll know what I'm talking about. Yeah, it just feels like there needs to be more there, but again, this is just a first draft. I can always come back in edits and add a lot more, which I already have done a couple times throughout this process. I was like, oh my gosh, I should add this little thing in and that's fine. So maybe I just press forward and start writing The Dark Knight of the Soul and just see what happens. And if I realize that there's this gap there between you know, what I have of the bad guys so far in the dark night. I can just add to that later in edits, maybe? I don't know. Let's do this. Let's take stock of how far we've come because that usually motivates me. So I'm gonna go grab my bullet journal and let's take a look. I was knocked down, heard the countdown through the haze in the face of defeat, yeah. I was ruled out with no bail out on my own, all alone. 19,982. Some of that is outlined, but then we have 19 hours so far and 25 minutes written. 19 days total. So I am getting really close to the end. This is fun to see. And again, for those of you who ask also about my word count stickers, those are from Mandy Lynn. She has a website store. All of these stickers are from her. After I finish the laptop ones, which are my favorite, I'm going to probably move on to the book stack ones. I think I like these second best, but then also I did buy the gift wrap ones because I think they fit really nicely in the calendars that I make as well. So if you're curious, I do have a discount code Bethany10, I think gives you 10% off for all of her stickers here. And there's editing ones too. And I'm a proud affiliate for her stickers because obviously I love them. <laughs> I need to make like a running list of common questions that I get in these vlogs for all my writing stuff. But I think those two are the biggest ones. And gosh, and now I'm just procrastinating, aren't I? So my husband says he's gonna bring Zion home in about an hour and a half. So he's staying longer, which works out for me because I haven't even started yet. Enough procrastinating. It's time to write. An hour and a half is more than enough time to make some progress. So we can do this. Okay, here we go. one o'clock. Mosin just pulled in. I'm gonna go ahead and really quick run my word count here and see how did I do. Of this right here, I don't know if you can see it's highlighted, 696 words. Ah, I'm excited. I was about to skip into the next scene, that chapter 13 I showed you when I realized I think I know what the dark night of the soul is and it's really dark and I know who's gonna do it to her and ooh, it was another fun twist. I'm very excited about it, but they're home now, so I'm gonna call it good. I am just really thankful that I actually wrote something. I really wanted this to be the vlog where I finished the book, but I think I still have a good ways to go, so here's hoping that'll be the next vlog. I have to say I'm very excited about the Dark Knight of the Soul in the story itself. It's way better than I expected. I did not outline it. I did not see it coming. It took me a while to think of it. it took probably a good chunk of my writing time, but 
it was worth it. It's gonna be good. Okay, Zion was sleeping in the car seat when he came home, so I decided to finish that thought that I had because I was so excited and I could picture what comes next. And as I went back into outline and flesh out my outline more, I realized that I'd actually written this chunk of chapter 13 as well, and I thought I'd end it there. So I added those words. Those were just 83 more words for a total of 779 today in roughly 50 minutes. I can't remember exactly. I think that's about what it was because I did procrastinate and make a couple TikTok videos. But then I went back in here and I fleshed out my outline. I actually deleted pretty much everything I have and this is all brand new. I can picture exactly what comes next. I'm so excited about it. It's going to be amazing. It just fits so much better with the next step. And oh my gosh, I'm just really excited about it. It's going to be so much fun to write. I wish I had time today, but that's okay. I will write again very soon and I know exactly what's going to happen next, which is always what you want in a writing session. It started